So today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It's very fresh and springy and pretty. I love it. A lot of people are not going to like this eye look, but I think it's so... I don't know, I think it's really pretty and it gives like a fresh pop of color and it's so easy because it's one eyeshadow. It's ridiculously easy and I personally really like it and I love the dewy skin, the highlight, the glow, I love it all. And the best part is that it's drugstore. Everything I use in this video on my face is drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me comment down below if you like it. Yeah, and if you want to see how to get this fresh springy, peachy look, then just keep watching. So I want a really dewy look for today's look. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer and I'm going to apply this to my entire face to give that really pretty luminous glow underneath my foundation. To hide some of those dark circles underneath my eyes, I'm going to take this Pixi um, Corrector in Brightening Peach and I'm going to apply this with my finger really, really close to my eyes. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? I see the difference. And this really counteracts like the blues under your eyes. For foundation, I am using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation instead of the Healthy Mix Serum. It's a different kind of foundation, but I really like it. It's not as dewy as the serum, and it has a little bit more coverage than the serum. I like them both a lot. I like the serum a little bit more, but this one has a little bit more coverage. So I'm applying that with a flat top kabuki from Sedona Lace. Then for concealer, I'm going to take the best concealer at the drugstore, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have mine in 15 Fair, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes to hide my dark circles a little bit, but mainly to highlight my face. So I'm going to take that in between my eyebrows, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and all that stuff to highlight, of course. Then I'm going to blend it all in using this brush from Sedona Lace as well. I've really, really been loving this brush. It's like the 217 brush. I don't know, it's really good to blend out concealer underneath your eyes because it's fluffy but small like at the same time kind of dense too I really really like this brush a subscriber actually sent me these Sedona lace brushes and I love them they're good I'm gonna set my concealer with this elf blush brush and I'm gonna use the elf HD under eye setting powder I love this to set my, oh, I dropped it a little bit. I love this to set my under eyes because it really minimizes creasing and it gives like a nice airbrushed look underneath the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm going to take the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. This is just going to make my eyeshadow last a lot longer and just prime my eyelids. For the eyeshadow but to cover up some of the veins on my eyelids I'm gonna take this Milani like chubby stick in continuous almond or almond cream I'm not exactly sure I'll have it down below and I'm just gonna blend that on my lids and this is just gonna add a really nice space for the eyeshadows as well I'm gonna go into this LA colors single eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply this to my entire lid using a fluffy brush this is in the shade Bare Mauve. It's not mauve, but you know, that's okay. That's the name of the eyeshadow. So I'm applying that all over my lids. And then I'm going to go into this six pan um, Wet n Wild. I can't open it, but it's the Wet n Wild six pan eyeshadows. This is pretty new, and this is in the shade California Roll. I'm going to take the peachy color in that palette, and I'm going to apply this to my entire lid. And this is pretty much going to be the look. I just think having like an all peach eyelid is so pretty, especially for spring. I just really, really love this eyeshadow. It's actually pretty pigmented and I like this um, six pan palette. There's only a couple shades that aren't very good, but overall it's really good. I'm going to take a more precise blending brush and dip it right back into that peach color and I'm going to apply this. In my crease, I have had to stop this voiceover like 10 times because I keep coughing. So, yeah. I'm just still a little sick. But anyway, I'm taking this $1 e.l.f. brush and I'm going to dip it into that really pretty champagne sparkly color. And this is going to be my highlight underneath my brow bone or on my brow bone, I should say. I'm going to apply that same eyeshadow to my inner corners and make them nice and bright because everything is so matte. I want 
my tear ducts to be nice and shiny and beautiful. This eyeshadow is really pigmented and I love it. I'm going to go back into that Bare Mauve shade from LA Colors and I'm just going to run this underneath my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of color there. Then I'm going to take my favorite brown eyeliner ever and this is the NYX Trust Jolie gel eyeliners. I'm sure you're sick of me using them so much but they are my favorite. And I'm only adding a little bit of brown just to the outer corners of my waterline. Curling my lashes and then I'm going to apply the Maybelline um, Colossal Volume Express Mascara. But you can apply whatever mascara. I look so bored applying mascara. but. Apply whatever mascara you want, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I am taking the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer in the shade Rich Bronze. And I'm going to start to warm up my cheeks with this color. Um, it's not too, too orange to where you can't contour, so I'm contouring a little bit. This one is actually um, not so bad. It's not super orange. The Warm Tan one is a little bit more orange, but the Rich Bronze, Rich Bronze, yeah. That one has a little bit more brown to it, so I'm just using that to contour. It's really easy to blend out because it's a cream, and I, I don't know, I really, really love this cream bronzer. It's the best at the drugstore. Well, they sell Sonia Kashuk at Target, but yeah. Then I'm going to take this Milani tan bronzer type of thing. It's a really pretty shimmery face and body bronzer, and on a bigger stippling brush, I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks and around my face to give me that shimmery, bronzy, Jennifer Lopez kind of glow because that's what this bronzer gives because it is a little bit shimmery, well, a lot of it shimmery. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush in the shade Coral and I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. This is a blush but it has a beautiful sheen to it, that's why it's a highlighting blush and it gives a really, really pretty highlight to the face. But of course, I'm going to take it to another level. I'm going to give it some more highlighting action. This is a Milani single eyeshadow in the shade Bella Chiffon. And it's like a pale gold eyeshadow, but it is the most beautiful pale gold highlight for the face ever. I love it so much. So I'm just adding some more highlight to the look, of course. To finish off this look, I'm going to take the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude and apply that to my lips. And then I'm going to add some lip gloss on top. This is the LA Colors Little Jelly Lip Gloss. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's like the really, really light pink one. This lip gloss smells like bananas. It smells so good, literally like bananas. I don't know what the name of it is, and I'm so sad that there's no sticker on it or anything, but it's a really pretty, non-sticky lip gloss. And that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!